This video will explain to you how the coronavirus spreads. You will then understand why taking the recommended preventive measures can protect you from infection and how you can reduce the spread of COVID-19 in the community, which will save lives. Every single person can help to reduce the number of cases. Almost half of the people infected with COVID-19 do not have any symptoms. This means that you cannot tell for sure who is infected and who isn't. And you must assume that anyone you meet could be infectious, no matter how healthy they seem. In fact, you yourself could be transmitting the virus to others without being aware that you are infected. Until recently, it was thought, the virus was passed from person to person from the respiratory droplets released when an infected person coughs or sneezes. These droplets are large and heavy, so they fall to the ground. Wearing a cloth barrier and staying at least six feet away from others was considered protective. We now know that COVID-19 is also spread through aerosols. These are much smaller particles, which come from our mouth or nose every time we breathe, talk, laugh or sing. Because they are so small, aerosols can hang in the air, float over considerable distances and around obstacles, rather than moving in a straight line. A poorly fitting mask, which leaves spaces between your face and the mask, will mean that these tiny aerosol particles can pass behind the mask and be breathed in, which means that you could still become infected. Any mask you wear must be made of materials that filter aerosols effectively. And it must fit properly so that all the air we breathe is filtered through the mask. When used properly, a mask can prevent you breathing in aerosols containing the virus if you are in a space where someone else is infected. If you are infected, it will also prevent you from breathing out aerosols containing the virus and putting others at risk. Wearing a mask is something you do for yourself as well as for other people. Surgical masks are made from a material that will filter out aerosols well. However, they often fit poorly. It is essential to close any gaps between the mask and your face. You can do this by wearing a cloth mask over your surgical mask, known as double masking. The cloth mask should have a nose piece which can be molded to your nose and cheeks, and it must cover your nose and chin with no gaps. You can also use various devices to secure the surgical mask closely against your face. These are called fit enhancers. N95 type respirator masks are considered the best at filtering out aerosols. But they can only do this if they fit properly. We all have different shaped noses, chins and faces. And some kinds may fit you better than others. You must ensure a good seal around your face. Masks with an outlet valve are not recommended. If you are infected without having symptoms, the valve will allow virus into the surrounding air where it could infect others. Aerosols spread like smoke from a smoker. In an outdoor situation, the smoke will disperse or blow away. You can step away from a smoker to avoid the smoke. It's the same with aerosols. Keeping a distance from other people will reduce the risk of breathing in the virus. But you should still wear a mask. The chance of the virus being passed from person to person is always less outside because in indoor spaces, the aerosol has nowhere to go. The levels build up over time, like a room getting filled with smoke if someone is smoking. In this situation, distancing from other people won't be enough because the aerosol floats in the air to fill the entire space. The more people that are present, the greater the chance that one or more of them has COVID-19. This means everyone in an enclosed space has a higher risk of being infected. Keeping windows and doors open lets in fresh air, free from virus and helps viral aerosols to escape. This will reduce the risk of people in an indoor space becoming infected with COVID-19. If you have to go into a space with other people, be sure to wear an effective mask and spend as little time there as possible. We need to do everything we can to keep ourselves safe and to stop the spread of COVID-19 to others. Stay at home as much as you can. Do not allow visitors. If you have to go out, put on a suitable mask and keep it on until you return home. While you are out and about, avoid the three C's. Close contact, crowding and closed spaces. Respiratory aerosols will be more concentrated close to other people. 
close contact increases the risk of infection and should be avoided. Crowds are high-risk situations because you cannot tell who is infected. And they may not be aware either because half of people do not have any symptoms. If you're infected without realizing it, you are putting everybody else at risk too. In a closed space, aerosols will build up because they have no way of escape. The risk of infection in this situation is much higher. If everybody follows the precautions of effective masking and avoiding the three Cs, we can greatly reduce the number of people getting ill or dying from COVID-19.